Hello, and welcome to Footnotes. I'm here to recap the most ravishing language and ideas from the last week of Wired. First up today, Greeks in space. Wired Science reported on the Curiosity rover getting a shot of the Mars moon Phobos passing in front of the sun. This moon is just 16 miles across, and it's actually pulling closer and closer to Mars. It will crash into the planet in around 50 million years, because all it ever wanted to do was cuddle. Mars never wanted anything serious, and now that the Curiosity rover is there, Phobos is totally jealous and simply won't stand for it. Or it could all just be the effects of gravity. So Phobos gets its name from the Greek personification of fear, and Mars's other moon, Deimos, is the Greek personification of terror. Mars itself is, of course, the Roman god of war. Phobos and Deimos were brothers and sons of Ares, the Greek god of war. You can imagine this family kind of like the father and sons from Boondock Saints. Teeming with souls shall it ever be. Only less Irish. Phobos is where we get our idea of a phobia, a sometimes irrational fear. Sure, it can be reasonable, like arachnophobia, but something like chromophobia, which is a Whoa, fear of a colors, is a little bit silly, if not totally inconvenient. Double rainbow. There are treatments for phobias, such as therapy and drugs, or you can try something called emotional freedom techniques. These consist of tapping yourself on certain spots on your head and chest, preferably in a quiet place where nobody can witness this. Or you can just take your chances with phobia-induced panic attacks. Next up, a great American hero, Inspector Gadget. Our Gadget Lab desk reported on a new Bluetooth phone glove earpiece thing that you can use to make calls with your hand, just like in the classic American cartoon, Inspector Gadget. So this Inspector Gadget is a bit like Inspector Clouseau, in the sense that they're both lousy detectives. Yes, it's all coming back now. <laughs> Ah, yes, I remember. Ah! Ah! Oh. Oh. Well, that felt good. Think the haplessness of Ace Ventura, only better dressed and with fewer emotional imbalances. Inspector Gadget is a cyborg, which means he's a human being with mechanical parts, like extendable arms and the handphone. Because he's a detective, he starts each episode by getting a message that describes a mission. While he reads it, his eyes make the sound of an old-school teletype, a long-distance pinner that was obsolete by the time the show first aired. Apparently, the police department's IT guys never got around to upgrading the inspector's peepers. In each episode, Inspector Gadget battles the evil Dr. Claw, inevitably foils his plans, and then gives a public service announcement. These messages essentially told kids not to do any of the silly stuff they had just seen on the show, and under no circumstances should they try to install helicopters in their heads. And Inspector Gadget assured kids with a fear of colors that it was a really dumb idea to be watching cartoons in the first place. 